from Griselda Portraits and today we're going to discuss about the brown cloak package. If you haven't already, you may subscribe to my channel and also look back to other previous videos where I have uploaded an overview of Griselda Portraits packages for our serv photography services. So just to recap, there are four packages right now. The first one is for red roses, which are which is ideal for families and also couples. And then there's also silver arrow for individuals. And then we have the brown cloak, which I will discuss today. And finally, black olives, which essentially is mini station. For the brown cloak, it is inspired by the brown scapular. So there's the um, uh, the history that um, Simon Stock, so that's Saint Simon Stock, Mother Mary, Our Lady of uh, brown, uh, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, appeared to him and then man, um, gave him the brown scapular and mentioned about the graces or the um, the benefits of wearing them. Now, the brown cloak, the package, is designed for events, for celebrations. For example, as you can see behind, or not behind, but the, um, the rotating images at the video, you can see that um, it can be used for weddings. People also use it for events such as birthdays, so birthday parties. And you can also ask, for example, for First Communion or baptism, baptism and other celebrations. Now, I must be honest that the brown cloak might be one of the most inspiring package for me. So, in fact, the reason why I decided to focus on Catholic-based uh, photography is because I was inspired by other photographers in the United States. So there is Mystical Rose Photography, that's Victoria Cerise with her photography business, and she is a wedding photographer specific for Catholic customers. At that time, I thought, oh, how beautiful her pictures were. And then the fact that Catholic photographers know about the ritual, the mass, the orders, but not only that, they also respect the sacredness of the holy matrimony that really inspired me. And that's the reason why I niched down to Catholic photography in Edmonton and beyond. Now, how does the brown cloak package look like? Well, of course, we're going to talk about your holy matrimony or celebration, but first, you will need to book a consultation with me, so you will be able to fill in the contact page or you can also go to my booking page and then you can schedule a date for the first consultation. So basically, um, we're going to meet um, ideally with your fiance as well. So the three of us, we're, go um, we're just going to get to know each other. I'm going to ask you little details such as you know, like how did you meet or how did your love story was. Um, also, I will ask, is there any particular novena or prayer that you did? Or maybe there is a saint that you have devotion to, such as that. And then we'll discuss about your plan. Now, for Catholics, I believe that the planning, the wedding planning is best six months or even more because you do need to take the preparation course so that's marriage preparation course and oftentimes uh, the church requires that you take some time for that the reason being is that that will make sure that you are you have discerned the decision that you have um, been prepared for the holy matrimony in that sense, when you meet with me, um, it's okay to contact me even maybe one year before or um, six months before. That's okay too. It's not. It's never too early anyway. 
in the meeting, we'll discuss, okay, so have you booked a date with the parish that you want to be celebrated in? So if you have a date, I'm going to write that down. What time the mass will be? And then if you're interested, we can also add on things like reception coverage, where I can take your, um, for example, the couple speech, or maybe the first dance and other, um, cer- not ceremony, but um, other um, events that you want to include. Also, we can discuss if you want getting ready sessions. So that would be, for example, bride. Uh, the bride will have makeup and then also we'll have a photo with the dress and I will take pictures of the invitation, the rings, the details essentially. And of course, if, you, if there's also groom prepare, preparing himself, it's going to be quick, but it will be nice as well to take pictures of the groom getting ready, perhaps with the help of the parents, perhaps with the help of the sisters, the siblings, like that. And what would be even more beautiful for, well, at least from my perspective, what will be nice as well is to have a little session or ideally one hour, but less is okay. So one hour of couple portraits. That is when I can get the two of you, the bride and the groom, just do two of you alone, and we can have pictures of you together. And in that moment, we can do basically anything you want. For example, you can read letters, love letters to each other, or you can also pray the rosary, for example, or um, we can have like a just a relaxing stroll in the park, which might might be your first place of date, or um, anywhere else that you are that that is memorable to you. Perhaps your first date was in a library, so maybe we can arrange something like that. Or maybe your first date was in a coffee shop, so. You know, we can always incorporate whatever memorable or whatever important to you um, into the package. Now, as of 2023, so right now, today, it's November 2023. So the way I do it for this particular package is per hour. So my rate is per hour. In the past, previously, I did a minimum four hours. So it's like... um, kind of like a set of hours. But yeah, I was trying to be, uh, I guess I am, I am trying to be flexible as well because I know that, for example, if it's not a wedding, if it's just a baptism, or not just, but if it is baptism or if it is birthday party like that, you might just need um, one hour coverage or maybe one hour and a half, one hour, two hours like that with the family photos afterwards. So that's the reason why it is per hour rate. I think some of you might ask the question, why do you need to hire a Catholic photographer? I mean, you're here, so that's a good thing. You know now that I am a Catholic photographer, but um, especially for those who are getting married in the Catholic Church, I think it's uh, helpful for sure. To have a Catholic photographer because the photographer can help you. So for example, I've been offering to my clients um, if they need, first of all, prayer so I can pray for them, but also if they want me to contact the parish in a sense that I can ask them, oh, we're thinking about taking pictures with the, for example, the statue of Our Lady and um, Will there be any mass after your after the wedding, or will there be any um, you know will the church be closed after the wedding? So um, I can coordinate with the church in that sense. Not only that, I think it's also my responsibility to ask details to the parish office. For example, can I use the flash, or can I be, you know, like how how near can I be from the altar? Some some church might have. Uh, limitations on how near I can be in the altar to the altar also for the blessing of the sacrament so that one is before the uh, sorry before the distribution so before the um, yeah before the, the 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 people take the Eucharist 
so there will be a, a blessing of the sacrament. So some church actually, some churches mentioned that I'm not allowed to take pictures at that point. So whenever the people are kneeling, whenever the uh, yes, whenever the people are kneeling, I'm not supposed to take pictures in that during during that blessing of sacrament. That is to pay respect, of course, because it's a sacred moment. That's when we believe that there's a transubstan uh yes, there's a a very important moment that we share together. The other part is that of course the tabernacle, which can also not be available for pictures. So those kind of details, yeah, perhaps as as a couple you might be thinking, oh, that's a lot of questions to ask. But uh, no worries, because I will be there for you. I will ask the questions to the church. My favorite thing about taking weddings, well. Also taking um, baptism and also birthday parties. I think my favorite thing as a Catholic photographer is the fact that I can see their joy. I can see their um, gratefulness for their um, for the moments that they spent with the family, with the loved ones. That's that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. And as a photographer what I can contribute is actually to assure them that I got everything documented you don't need to worry about it and just to make sure that they feel relaxed at ease enjoying the time because sometimes when you do celebrations I mean I myself experience it I was really really stressed out so <laughs> For example, um, I would be thinking, oh, what to do next? Like, what's next on the schedule? Or I would be thinking, oh, is every does everyone have their food already? Or things like that. And then I think as a vendor, as a photographer, I am able to tell the bride, tell the groom, you know, it's your day. Also to the parents, for example, if it's a birthday party or a baptism or first communion of their daughters or sons i would say it's okay everything is handled you're fine so that extra encouragement and assurement reassurement that god bless us and that's really powerful i think i'm really humbled to be in that position i think last but not least i want to mention that the brown cloak is meant to be a celebration of love. It's a reminder that God's love is really beautiful and that we are loved by Him. And so what is love after all? It's basically self-giving. And it's an unpopular, I guess, <laughs> unpopular view because um, the world would say love is the passion. Love is where you get what you want. You get what you desire but i think in catholic we believe that it's more than that it's beyond that it's when you actually self-giving when you do like when you think of the other like what's best for them and also as if you're a couple then what's best for the two of you right like working together always always looking beyond the imperfections and understanding this is more even more important understanding that god is in the relationship so it's not just the two of you it's not just the family even even family works as well like not just the family but there is god there is holy spirit there's jesus in the family as well so i think that's the most important thing i want to share and if you have questions if you have um anything if you want like a prayer, maybe right now you're in a relationship or maybe you're discerning to become a Catholic, um, feel free to get in touch with me. We can pray together, definitely. And even if you don't want to meet me, we can also uh, just texting or um, maybe uh, emailing back and forth. We can pray separately. Uh, and I'm very happy that you are here with me today and I hope that you can consider Griselda portraits to capture your celebrations, to capture the love you shared with your loved ones in the next moment 
in the next um, event you have. So I thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy this episode. I will see you next time in this YouTube channel and probably we're going to discuss about the red roses next. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.